I felt like it was important to come to the table to really clear the air. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 20 celebrity confessions that shocked fans. I mean, do you want, like, do you want details? Yes! <laughs> for this list, we'll be looking at the most surprising stories we still can't quite believe high-profile individuals chose to reveal. Like, they know we can hear them, right? Which celeb confession left your jaw on the floor? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Pink claims Christina Aguilera took a swing at her. This duo's infamous feud reportedly dates back to their time working on the 2001 Lady Marmalade cover and music video. Both admitted to having grown up and moved past the drama. But according to Pink, things once got heated enough for things to turn physical. Pink, did you try to get physical with her? Actually, she swung on me in a, really? in a club. In a club? Hilarious. She recalled finding the incident amusing. Meanwhile, the fighter singer denied it ever happened. She remembers a very different evening involving a game of spin the bottle and says she would probably never swing at Pink since she doesn't trust her odds in that fight. Look at her and look at me like, I, I wouldn't swing on her. She, she's like, she's like, you know, she, right. she can beat right. my ass. Right. Are you right. kidding me? She, so you, she could really beat my ass you remember then. We may never know the truth, but we're glad bygones seem to be bygones. Number 19. Rumor Willis's crush on former stepdad Ashton Kutcher. You used to have posters of Ashton. <laughs> totally and did. <laughs> and you're, and you're, like, he's a hot, he's a hot looking dude. I mean, Ashton I mean, he was one of many on the wall, but right. <laughs> he was up there. <laughs> hey, you know. Look, we have eyes. We get it. The only difference is Ashton Kutcher was never married to our moms. Rumor Willis divulged that she used to have a crush on the actor and called him a heartthrob. I mean, you know, I think you just, that's when you open up your team beat and then you just take him down and right. about somebody else. <laughs> Admittedly, this was all before the That 70s Show star became her stepfather, but it's still kind of weird to admit, right? Understandably, the posters came down fast, and Willis confessed to expressing disappointment to her sister about her mom bagging one of her celeb crushes. Still, she also says that her perspective of the actor changed quite quickly after he became part of the family, and that he was a, quote, really great stepfather. At a certain point, I feel like you, you know, if, if your parent or someone, it's like if your friend is dating someone, you know, you don't then, like, kind of go, oh yeah, all right, that's, <laughs> that's weird. Number 18. Harry Styles has four nipples? The former 1D member is super in many ways. Super talented, super successful, and also a super numerary when it comes to the standard number of nipples. You do? Yeah. Four? Four. If you're a directioner, you'll remember this rumor from the old days, but Styles once again confirmed it during an interview with Chelsea Handler in 2017. He even pointed out where the extra ones are on his body, though he says they're much smaller than the normal ones. I don't look like a cow or anything. It's you don't have like udders? No. No udders, but there are four nipples underneath there. Yes. And Milk comes out of one of them. Four. As it turns out, polythelia, or extra nipples, are more common than you might think. It really is much ado about nothing. Or just maybe it's the source of all his power. I didn't realize that was a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> Number 17, Stephen Colbert's tragic comedy beginnings. Stephen Colbert has been cracking up audiences for decades, from sketch comedy to daytime television, and now late night hosting. However, he revealed that he believes his knack for comedy is rooted in grief. And I would purposefully embrace that awkward moment of embarrassment and it would kind of run through me like an electric little current. And, and I liked that feeling. I think it has something to do with not thinking that anything is important, mm -hmm. including my own embarrassment. In 1974, at just 10 years old, Colbert lost his father and two of his brothers in the Eastern Airlines Flight 212 plane crash. Peter and Paul were his two siblings closest in age to him, and as the youngest, Colbert spent many years at home alone with his mourning mother. She taught us to still love life and not be bitter, and um, to realize that everybody suffers, 
And if you can accept your suffering, then you'll just understand other people better. Despite his own grief, Colbert says he would tell her jokes in the hopes of making her happy. He believes this set him on the path to comedy. I want to be the most human I can be. And that involves acknowledging and ultimately being grateful for the things that I wish didn't happen because they gave me a gift. Number 16, Megan Trainer and Daryl Sabera's Bathroom Habits. Celebrities, they're just like us, right? Well, while talking to Nicole Byer on an episode of her podcast, Why Won't You Date Me, Megan Trainer revealed that she and her husband have side-by-side -side toilets in their bathroom. That's all anyone could talk about for the last three days. Yeah, yeah, my mom's like, I wish there was a song attached to this, um, but there's not. <laughs> that wasn't even the weirdest part. She also divulged that they would sometimes use them at the same time and even hold hands. Unsurprisingly, the revelation went viral, but for some reason, and despite pleas from her mom and husband, Trainer seemingly couldn't help piling on more details. I, mine's the fancy one on the right. Um, it like warms your butt. And then the other one on the left is right under the air conditioning, so that's his. <laughs> she admitted that there's one bathroom activity she gives Sabera privacy for because she can't stand the smell. It's good to know they draw the line somewhere, at least. Now it's really famous. I told my contractor, I was like, did you hear? He's like, my sister told me the news. <laughs> <laughs> Number 15, Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith marital revelations. This Hollywood couple's relationship has been at the center of the rumor mill for years, so they decided to reclaim control over the narrative by addressing some of the alleged stories. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August, that's what I said. During a Red Table talk, Pinkett Smith spoke about her relationship with singer August Alsina. However, she clarified that it occurred during a period of separation from her husband. Well, at that particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. You yeah, know. no, and we were over. In a 2021 GQ interview, we also learned that in order to deal with some of the unhappiness in their relationship, the couple decided to open up their marriage. Apparently, Jada wasn't necessarily a fan of monogamy, something the couple decided to make space for in their lives. Both continued to speak candidly and supportively about each other and their marriage. I've never met another person that I, I connect with in conversation more um, blissfully and productively than Jada. Number 14, Robert Pattinson's onset happy ending. Some actors have to do all sorts of crazy things to get into character. Some bulk up, some spend hours with dialect coaches, and others go full method. But not too many are expected to pleasure themselves on set for the sake of realism. Don't be a bad thing. Naughty <laughs> boy. While playing Salvador Dali in the 2008 film Little Ashes, our Pats did just that for one of the movie's sex scenes. Understandably, the actor didn't consider this one of his career highlights and told Germany's Interview magazine that it made him want to quit the biz altogether. It doesn't matter. It's not important. It's late. You should sleep. Having your O face immortalized on camera forever is quite intense on its own, but having it released theatrically, yeah, Pattinson's committed to his work all right. Um, I don't know. There must be a part of me that wants to do it, I guess. <laughs> Number 13, Leah Michelle gave Jonathan Groff a lesson in female anatomy. In 2022, the original cast of the Tony Award-winning musical Spring Awakening reunited for a benefit concert to mark the show's 15th anniversary. Many throwbacks and anecdotes were shared, but one in particular, told by Leah Michelle and Jonathan Groff, got people talking the most. At one point, I literally showed him my whole vagina. I can confirm that. In the show, Groff played the sex-savvy Melchior, while Michelle played the more naive Wendla. Offstage, Groff confessed to being unfamiliar about things like female anatomy. In particular, I was interested in like the the like geography of the different 
parts. The two were so close by that point that Michelle was content to reveal herself to Groff, who wasn't yet open about his sexuality and had never seen female genitalia before. And we thought we were close with our friends. Does that explain it? I love that she told you that, oh my god. But I've never seen Jonathan naked. Number 12. Keith Richards inhaled his dad's ashes. We all know that old saying about rock and roll, and we guess some rock stars lean into it a bit heavier than others. Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones fame has infamously been known to go harder than most. You've always been convinced of your own const the strength of your own constitution. Oh yeah, but I, I don't, I mean, uh, also I know, I know how long my string is. When asked what the strangest thing he had ever inhaled was, his response was, quote, my father. No, you didn't mishear that. You did in fact do it. I ingested my ancestor, yes. We're not sure if it makes it better or worse that he mixed the ashes with another kind of powder if you catch our drift. Still, the strangest part might have actually been when he claimed that his father wouldn't have minded, saying that, quote, it went down pretty well, and he's still alive. It was a bit gritty, actually, but, um, <laughs> you know, it was, it was done, and it was done. Number 11. Kesha's Haunted Privates Countless celebrities believe in the supernatural, but arguably fewer have as intimate a relationship with it as Kesha. I did go to the Bone Zone. With a ghost. During an episode of her reality show, Kesha, My Crazy Beautiful Life, the singer found herself staying in a potentially haunted hotel. And things took a weird turn when a ghost detector seemingly picked up on some paranormal activity around the singer's pelvic area. Okay, so either my vagina is haunted or I'm pregnant with a ghost baby. I told you I'd sex with a ghost! Awesome. She doubled down on her assertions during a visit to Jimmy Kimmel Live, sharing that a hypnotherapist told her that she had dead people inside her and should perform an exorcism. Initially, Kesha has also maintained that she's had some form of sexual experiences with spirits, which she says inspired her song Supernatural. Number 10. Fergie's on-stage accident. Everybody, yeah. everybody, yeah. let's get into it. Yeah. Get stoked, Come on. get it started. Come on. Get it, started. it was 2005, and the Black Eyed Peas were stuck in traffic on their way to a gig in San Diego. They arrived at the venue so late that there was nothing else to do but take to the stage without seeing to any personal needs first. Fergie got so animated while performing that let's just say the lyrics keeps running, running, and running, running took on an unfortunate new meaning. Wait, it was an accident? It what? was. Ugh, geez, this is the most unattractive moment of my life. I mean. Unluckier still, Fergie's pants revealed all to the crowd, including whoever took the photos that made the rounds in the media. Of course, the singer said that since then, she makes a point of visiting the facilities before any performance. I get crazy and I jump and I yeah. run across the stage and my adrenaline was going and gosh. Number nine, how often do these celebrities shower? While appearing on Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher confessed to some unpopular hygiene opinions. The pair revealed that they only wash their kids when they are visibly dirty, and then also shared a bit about their own shower routines. I yes. wash my armpits and my crotch daily, and nothing yeah. else ever. This opened a broader debate with celebrities like Drew Barrymore, Jake Gyllenhaal, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Terry Crews, and more, weighing in on the subject. Kutcher and Kunis also hilariously clapped back at critics who questioned their bathing habits for their kids. What's going on? <laughs> We're bathing our That's like the fourth time this week! <laughs> Four times this week! It's too much. Well, showbiz seems very divided on the matter, although that just might be the pungent aromas swirling around. We wonder what they'd make of Jessica Simpson's confession that she only brushes her teeth three times a week, a fact that allegedly shocked her dentist and dentists around the world, probably. But I do use like Listerine and I do floss every day. Right, but I don't brush them every day. I just, I'll use a shirt or something. Number eight, Kourtney Kardashian receives unusual fertility improving advice. The Kardashians are an open book, and there's little they share that shocks or surprises us these days. Well, maybe, except when the eldest Kardashian sister revealed that her doctor suggested she ingest her husband's semen to boost her fertility. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love this doctor. Delicious. 
you know, living our best lives. The TV personality said she was told it would improve her thyroid levels and help with conception. If you're wondering, the couple chose not to follow the doctor's advice. We're making a baby together. It's like, we have to be on the same page. Also, we don't know who needs to hear this, but this is unsound medical advice and there's no evidence supporting the claim. If someone suggests otherwise, it might be time for a second opinion. I will continue to Ignore. live my life and pretend no one's watching. <laughs> Number seven, Millie Vanilli returned their award. The now infamous duo was almost exposed for lip syncing during a live MTV performance of their hit, Girl You Know It's True. It's true. Miraculously, though, they got away with it. After that close call, tensions between the pair and their producer rose, leading to the admission that Fab Morvan and Rob Pilatus were not the voices behind this major hit, and the repercussions were colossal. You left alone. We were famous, and now we were infamous, just like that. Their label dropped them, angry fans wanted refunds, and they faced multiple fraud lawsuits. They also became the first and, as of writing, only artists to have their Grammy rescinded. While Morvan eventually returned to music, Pilatus unfortunately struggled with substance use disorder and passed away in 1998. Rob Pilatus didn't deal well with humiliation, you know, being punched every day in the public eye leaves marks, you know? And the only way you could deal with it for him was the addiction. Number six, Lance Armstrong confesses to using performance-enhancing substances. You know, I suppose earlier in my career there was uh, cortisone and then the EPO generation began. The now disgraced cyclist spent years vehemently denying allegations that he used performance-enhancing substances to win his many impressive titles. So it was quite a shock when he suddenly decided to come clean to Oprah in 2013. Yes or no, in all seven of your Tour de France victories, did you ever take banned substances or blood dope? Yes. By then, the U.S. anti-doping agency was already on his trail and had released a rather damning report. The world was quick to react, and Armstrong was stripped of his titles and ordered to return prize money. Still, the craziest part has to be when he told the BBC that given the chance, he'd do it again. We won't like to hear that, but that's the honest answer. Yeah, that's the honest answer. Number five, Nicki Minaj's vaccination musings. In 2021, the rapper revealed she was skipping the Met Gala given the guests were required to be vaccinated against COVID-19. She explained that she felt she needed more time to research the vaccine. Sure, fair enough. However, she then shared a very colorful story about her cousin's friend in Trinidad, who supposedly suffered an abnormal side effect from vaccination. Took the COVID vaccine and then his balls swole and he became impotent. We're no medical experts, but Dr. Anthony Fauci is. He firmly refuted the suggestion that the vaccine was what caused the condition. There's no evidence that it happens, nor is there any mechanistic reason to imagine that it would happen. Yo, can we just appreciate for a moment how crazy Dr. Fauci's life has become? The UK's Professor Chris Witte weighed in as well, unequivocally denying any link between those symptoms and the vaccine. Minaj's brief but surreal Twitter feud with the latter was also quite unexpected. My own strong suggestion, if I may, to uh, uh, media present and not present is repeating them in public actually just gives some credence which they don't need. Number four, Leighton Meester's mom gave birth while serving time. This actress is arguably best known for playing Upper East Side's Queen Bee, Blair Waldorf, in the teen drama Gossip Girl. Keep your eye on the prize, Jenny Humphrey. You can't make people love you, but you can make them fear you. Before Meester went on to achieve performing status, however, her family life was unfortunately less than stable. Her parents, maternal aunt and maternal grandfather, were all serving time for their involvement in a smuggling ring. My parents had been part of a very interesting lifestyle, I guess you could say. Um, they were in prison. 
Yes, okay. Her mom, Constance, was pregnant with her at the time and was taken to a hospital to give birth. Constance later spent several months in a halfway house with her newborn before returning to prison to finish her sentence. Meanwhile, Meester was placed in the care of her paternal grandparents. Despite her turbulent formative years, Meester recalls her upbringing as being relatively normal. They made a lot of sacrifices so that we could be okay and we could be protected from all that. Number three, Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly's bizarre engagement ritual. These two have never been a conventional couple, to say the least. But even by their standards, this is out of left field. During their engagement, the world was flabbergasted to learn that they had sampled each other's blood. People are imagining us with like goblets and we're like Game of Thrones drinking each other's blood. It's just a few drops. But yes, we do consume each other's blood on occasion for ritual purposes. Fox clarified how this ritual works during an interview with Glamour Magazine UK, where she also revealed that this wasn't a one-time occurrence. She divulged that Machine Gun Kelly likes to be a little extra about it. And be like, take my soul. Let me bleed on you. <laughs> it doesn't not happen, let me tell you. Maybe not exactly like that, but it, a version of that has happened uh, many times. But hey, whatever goes on between two consenting adults, right? Still, revealing that she and her beau once cut a hole in the crotch of a glamorous outfit so they could get on might have been a little TMI. Her stylist responding with, I hate you, laughing emojis, I'll fix it. Number two, Bill Clinton admits inappropriate relationship with Monica Lewinsky. On January 26, 1998, President Bill Clinton told the public, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. He was, of course, denying former White House intern Monica Lewinsky's allegations that they'd engaged in sexual relations. The then president was quite adamant in rebuking her story and doubled down on his denial, but he was unable to silence his accusers. When one of his staffers said, you know, there's another bimbo eruption, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> They were erupting all the time. In August of that same year, he finally confessed to the, quote, improper physical relationship in a recorded testimony before a grand jury. He followed up on his admission with a televised statement broadcast nationwide. I must put it right, and I am prepared to do whatever it takes to do so. Nothing is more important to me personally. Clinton was ultimately impeached on the grounds of perjury and obstruction of justice. To this day, it ranks high among politics' most famous scandals. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Kanye West's comments about slavery. Do you feel that I'm feeling, do, do you feel that I'm being free and I'm thinking free? I, I, actually, I actually don't think you're thinking anything. I think what you're doing right now is actually the absence of thought. Really, we could have gone with any number of Ye's recent statements, but we'd be here for hours. So instead, we're focusing on his outright offensive comments during a 2018 TMZ interview. The rapper offered opinions on various topics from free thought to politics, but it was his objectionable views on the enslavement of African and African-American people that had us freezing in our seats. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. <laughs> An understandably outraged employee clapped back, calling out the dangers of such abhorrent remarks. The rapper later tried to explain himself via Twitter, ultimately blaming the backlash on people opposing his free-thinking ways. Of course, this would be far from the only time Ye would insult entire communities and ethnicities. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Well, no, you can't, I guess. That didn't age well. Courtney Kardashian, Courtney Kardashian, Courtney Kardashian receives unusual fertility improving advice. Doctors suggested she ingest her husband's semen to boost her fertility. Yucky. 